In this video, I'll break down how to use this really cool music video title pack by Cinepax. Now the link is down in the description below. It's a really cool title pack. It comes I think around 30 plus um, titles, but it's just basically like title templates that you know you would place on top of your clip and then just kind of adjust the text, the color, and a whole bunch of other really cool like settings or different things you can do with this really cool like text presets. So as you can see here, here they all are Final Cut Pro titles. As you can see here are all of the Final Cut Pro um, title templates are just simply like music video templates. Place them on top of your clip and then just customize it. I will show you some really cool tips and tricks and different things you can do to just make this these music video titles stand out and just really look really cool. Now in order to install these really cool like title templates, what you want to do is you want to head over here to go. So click on go, then go down and click on home, select home, then go over here to movies, double click on movies, and as you can see a motions template folder, you just want to open up your motions template folder, and then you want to go to the titles folder, as you can see if I open, open up the titles folder, as you can see Final Cut Pro title. So this would basically go in your titles folder in your motions template folder. And remember like all plugins you want to make sure, uh, for example the title folder if I right click on it, um, get info, you want to make sure it says titles.localized, and then head over here to motions template template and then obviously also make sure get info motions template is dot localized just in case you're new to Final Cut make sure your folder structure is all set up but again just go to your motions template folder go to your titles folder and then all you're going to do is going to drag the Final Cut Pro 10 titles into your titles folder in your motions template folder now if you're not happy with the kind of like built-in fonts in Final Cut, you can basically install your own fonts. Now the two places that I would encourage you to do it is defont.com and Envato Elements. So what you would basically do is just kind of go through and find the different font you want. Now there are different licensing so make sure you, know, you research and make sure you have a license to use it. You can't just use any font you want. But in this case we're going to go ahead and select on this one. So let's say we want to use this text and all you're going to do is head over here and just click on download. Now the font is just one option. There are a whole bunch of really cool ways to do it. I just want to show you how to install your own custom fonts. So let's go ahead and let's just drag out the zip file and then let's just close out Chrome and then here is the zip file. Let's open up the zip file and let's see what we have in the actual file folder itself. So as you can see that we should have, I, I don't know exactly all the different things that you know different kind of fonts Apple can install. There are probably some they can't do but usually TTF is usually a pretty good one so make sure it has a TTF. Now what you want to do is head over here to font book. So you want to make sure you have font book opened up and then go over here so you see here are all the fonts that I've already imported. Click on this plus icon and then you're just going to locate the folder. So as you can see go over here to old London and then head over here and then here is the one we want to use and then just click on open so select and open right here and then just click on it and it's basically going to validate the font and then as you can see it's basically you see old london there we go it's already installed so just make sure you in user font and then old london here's the one that we just installed so now we're just going to close out a font book and reopen up final cut okay let's make sure it worked let's go ahead and click on this gap clip and then just click on control t that'll open up a basic title and let's just make sure the font was properly imported select on it head over here to font and then we're basically going to just scroll down until we find Old London. So let's go through and kind of scroll down. As you can see, there it is, Old London. So that's the title we want to use. You can see Old London. And there we go. The font is successfully imported. I just wanted to include that in this video just in case you're unaware of how to install f your own fonts into Apple and into Final Cut. And there you go. That's basically what I do. I just wanted to just include this in this video because I thought it would be a really helpful thing to know how to do. Okay, so here is the clip that I'm going to be using. It's just a clip from the Poland video by a little yachty. I just want to use this. This is just as an example. It can of course be any clip you want to use. So head over here to the title and generator section because we installed it in the title section in our motions template. And as you can see Final Cut Pro title so make sure you select on this icon and then as you can see here are all of the different titles. Now there's one really cool thing you know to just be aware that I want to include in this video. If you apply the text onto the actual like onto your clip and you go over here to publish parameters there are there will be some published parameters in this case. So I already did this in Apple Motion and I'll show you how to do it but let's say so you see those were published parameters but if I apply a different one one that I didn't adjust as you can see there are no published parameters now there's still a bunch of things you can do that I will show you how to do without using Apple Motion
promotion, but I wanted to include it in this video. If you're not aware, almost every plugin, I think pretty much basically any plugin in Final Cut is created in Apple Motion. So I want to show you a really cool hack just in case you want to publish in more parameters and get a little more custom. You can customize the text a little more. You can select the text. Now you want to make sure you have Apple Motion. Apple Motion costs $50. You don't have to do the step. I just wanted to include this in this video. So right click and as you can see, open in motion. So as you can see, this is basically the title plugin. So they created it in Apple Motion and they published it so you can use it in Final Cut. So let's say I want to customize it a little bit more. Let's open up the graphic element and let's open up the top frame. You can basically figure out which one you want. So just select here and this is the, the thing we are selecting. So you can click on the side frame, go over here to shape and then as you can see here is the brush color. So as you can see I can easily adjust the color of the actual like you can actually adjust the color of that. Now let's say for example you want to publish that to Final Cut. So head over here to this, so you see this drop down arrow, select on the drop down arrow and basically as you can see head over here to publish. Now you can publish that. So basically that will allow you to, now you can actually adjust the color of that line in Final Cut. And all you would do is head over here to project and then go over here to project 2 and then basically here is where you'll see everything that is, that is you'll publish to Final Cut and then just click on command S to save it. Basically, Basically, all that's going to allow you to do is now you can change the color of this in Final Cut. I just wanted to include it, include this like little tip, especially for like advanced editors, just in case you want a little more customization or you really want to be able to open up the entire plugin and see everything in its entirety. So all you want to do is you want to select on the title you want to use and then just place it on top of your clip and then we can easily just trim the title to make sure it fits on the clip. So as you can see, simple as that. Now you have this really nice title template, you know, on your actual clip. So this is what it looks like just at default. It's just a nice title template. Now you can go through and adjust the different settings to kind of get the look that you want. So what you want to do is you just want to double click as you can see you just want to double click on the text and then you can just type up whatever you want. So the artist's name or whatever you want to you know end up doing is completely up to you. So we're going to go ahead and just in this case we'll do a little yachty. So go ahead and make sure this is spelled right. So I think that's spelled right. So you just you know type in the artist. You're just going to go ahead and type in um, the artist's name, you know, obviously whatever you want, it'll be different depending on the artist that you're editing the video for. And let's go ahead and just double click on this text and let's go ahead and just delete the text. And basically we can just go ahead and just type in um, Poland, that's the name of the song. And of course it just acts like any other text. You can go over here to tracking and adjust the tracking. If you want, it just, it just operates as you can see. There's also like the drop shadow, the glow, just like you, you're editing a normal um, text layer. So basically you can go through and adjust the different text. And so we want to have this text, the actual font a little bit different. We can go ahead and select on the little Yachty text. Make sure you're completely select, you highlight everything and then kind of just go through and figure out a text you want to use. So maybe something like this looks pretty cool. This is an example, maybe that looks a little too weird. Let's try something like this, so there we go. You can basically just go through the font and adjust a different font, and again, you could also, like I showed you before, install your own font, and that just acts like any other thing. You can go ahead and add a drop shadow, add a glow. It just acts like any other, like, you know, normal, um, text layer and just simple as that. Now you have the text a little bit edited. Obviously, you know, I'm going, I'm skipping over a couple of steps, but I just wanted to show you the basic idea of how to use it. So just simply double click on the text and then you can just easily edit the text to your liking. I can also select on the text layer again, double click on this. Let's say I want to change the color of that text, go over here to face and then just adjust the color to something like maybe like a blue color or maybe like a Maybe something like a yellow color looks pretty cool. So there we go. You can just again change the, the color of the face. It acts just like any other, you know, normal text layer. Now in this case, we're gonna go ahead and select on the text itself. We're gonna hold down option and we're gonna drag it up. We're just creating a copy of that text layer because we wanna add like a really nice glow to the actual text. And it's just simple, duplicate the text, head over here to the effects, pla uh, effects panel and then ap apply the Gaussian blur. And as you can see, there we go. You're applying the Gaussian blur to to the bottom layer. So if I go ahead and just disable the top one, this is what it looks like. You're applying the, you're duplicating the text and you're applying a Gaussian blur to the bottom layer. And let's just change the amount to something like 40. And as you can see, that just looks really nice. Now you've added this really, really nice glow effect to your text. And that's basically, you know, as simple as that. Duplicate the text, apply Gaussian blur to the bottom layer. Now your text glows and it just looks really, really cool. So let's go ahead and create a compound clip, select both, option G, and we'll just call this text. 
all we're doing is we're creating a compound clip just because it'll be a lot easier than having to like you know do stuff to both layers just grouping them all together and now we can just easily adjust everything now of course you could also go over here to like scale and position and just easily adjust the scale and position if you want i think in most cases it'll just be fine how it is now what you could do is you could basically select on the different text on the on the um, group a uh, compound clip and now we can add like a nice drop shadow so let's just apply a drop shadow and let's just apply it onto the compound clip and then as you can see see it creates this really nice shadow so see this nice little like shadow to the actual text layer and as you can see so here is before and then here is after adding a drop shadow is really nice because it just creates depth of course you can go through the different settings and adjust it until you get the look that you want you can also head over here to text and you could try you, or the uh, compound clip and you can go to different blend modes you could try maybe something like hard mix you know that looks pretty cool so you could sometimes adjusting with the blend modes could be really cool change it to you know blend screen add that is just a nice little tip to know and lastly a couple of things you might want to be aware of is you could add like a nice cross dissolve so let's add a cross dissolve to the actual like you know text layer all that's going to do is just basically like a you know a nice like a cross fade so let's go to like, let's, just, let's just adjust the length of it to something like it'd be like 10 frames so all that's going to do is you add a we added a cross dissolve transition so as you can see the text is just basically it's basically like adjusting the opacity and as you can see see it just nicely fades out now one thing that i did the text which i thought was a pretty cool like feature is i went forward one frame and then I head over here to the um, blur section. I added a Gaussian blur to the compound clip. I took this setting and changed it to like 70. I, I started one frame forward, placed a keyframe on Gaussian blur, then went one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 frames forward. And then I basically adjusted the blur and turned it down to zero. So if I go again, as you can see, let's go to Gaussian blur. It's at 70 and that's quickly keyframing to zero. So it kind of looks like the text is out of focus and then just really cleanly, nicely just goes right into focus. I think that's just a really cool idea. It's just my idea. You can you know, do whatever you want to the text. I just want to show you some really cool, clever ideas. Just make the text stand out. Obviously, you know, it's fine if you just want to place it on top of your clip, but adding some blur, adding some, you know, like fade transition, blur transitions, and adding a drop shadow just makes the title stand out. And in my opinion, I think it makes, it makes it look a lot cooler. And that's pretty much it. That's how to use this really cool title pack by Cinepax as well as some really cool tips and tricks and different effects you can add on to it to just make it you stand out do whatever you want I just want to just hopefully you know give you the basic understanding of how this you know this text plug or this text pack works and just hopefully give you some really cool ideas for you so for you to use it in your future projects and that's pretty much it if you enjoy these types of videos definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button also make sure to check out my digital store where I have a whole bunch of Final Cut Pro 10 plugins presets and overlays Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.